Hey guys, welcome back to my tip channel. So I'm back again with an, an another installation video, and this time we are going to see how to install SDS, that is Spring Tool Suit. So it is a dedicated ID that is based on Eclipse. It looks exactly like Eclipse. If you used Eclipse when we when we you know install STS and when you see the interface, you'll make out that it looks exactly like Eclipse because it's built on that. Right, and this is dedicated completely for Spring Boot applications, Spring Spring Boot applications. So you can you know easily code into Spring and Spring Boot applications by using Spring Tool Suit. You can also use Eclipse ID. You can use IntelliJ IDEA. You can use all that stuff, but this is dedicated completely for Spring Boot. So you know you can just use it. So before installing STS, there is one requirement, as is there with Eclipse and IntelliJ IDEA. You need to have Java installed on your system, right? So let's check again how uh, you can check if Java is installed on your system or not. Just go to search and search for CMD, that is command prompt, and type this small command that is there, which says Java dash version. And if you get a comma, if you get something that says Java version one point eight, or the version might be different, but if you get something like this, it means that Java is Java JDK is present on your system. I have Java 1.8 installed on my system because it is one of the most stable ones. The latest version for Java is Java 17 and 19. You can install them. Uh, it's not a problem. But if you get a command that says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, which means that Java is not installed on your system. So you can click on the I button or visit the link in the description on how to install Java JDK on your system. Windows 10 or 11, there's the same processor. So you can go ahead, watch that video, install Java on your system, and come back to this video, and we'll get started on how to install STS. So I've come back here to my browser, and here I'll just search for Spring Tool Suit. This is what I'll search for, and here this is the first option that I'm getting: Tools Spring. So I'll click on this. Once you click on this, you can see the complete website for Spring Tool Suit. The latest version is four. At the time I created in this video, the latest version is four. It might be different for you, but the installation is same nonetheless. All right. So if you just scroll down a bit, you can see this logo. This is the Eclipse logo, right? And here also it says Spring Tool Suit Four for Eclipse, right? So here you can see Linux, Linux, Mac, Mac, and here this is our beloved Windows. So just click on Windows, and here you can see the download has started. Now this is not a normal zip file or exe file. This is a jar file. So for a jar file to run, you will compulsorily need to have Java installed on your system. You can also check out here, like you have v a Spring Tool Suit 4 for Visual Studio Code. So if you want to code into Visual Studio Code, you can use that. You can check out it is for Thea, and you can just read around a bit and how you can create a project. You can learn basic things if you want. You can check it out. But I have downloaded it already to save us some time. So let's go into the download folder. Now this is the jar file. So what you have to do is just double click on it, and it will start self extracting itself. Right? This will only happen if you have Java installed. So you can see in the corner over here that it has started extracting itself, and you can see that this is the folder that it is creating while extracting. We'll just wait for the extract in extraction to complete, and then we'll go forward. All right, the extraction is completed as you saw. Now this is our extracted folder. I'll just double click on it. And here is our Spring Tool Suit, right? This is .exe. Make sure you to distinguish between them. This one has the logo, green color logo of Spring Tool Suit. And this is the application file that we have to run. Now, I've encountered this problem. If I'm just extracting it here, the Spring Tool Suit does not run. It just shows a pop-up. After that, it won't start or it won't launch. If you are facing that problem later on while your installation is there, so just a simple suggestion: just click on Control X, go to Windows C Drive, and just paste your uh, extracted, complete extracted folder into your C Drive. All right, this is inside my C Drive. This is the folder, and now I'll again go and click on this file. Dot exe file that we have. I'll click on this, and now just wait for our Spring Tool Suit to load up. 
it will not take a lot of time it's even though it's heavy it will not take a lot of time all right as you saw it did not take a lot of time even if it takes a little bit of time that's not a problem it will always start up as it is running for the first time it will take some time so this is the location that it's asking to you know for our workspace whenever we create a project where do we want to save it so i'll just use this this is the default that it uses so i don't if you want to change it you can just click on browse and change it but i'll just leave it to default and i'll take this option because i don't want the pop-up again and again to ask me whether my workspace is i'll just click on launch Now you can see that it is starting our spring tool suit. Now again, the same thing that we did with Eclipse. Uh, if you watched my Eclipse video, you can see that this is our Eclipse Ditto. This is what our Eclipse user interface also look like. Now again, if you have a question that do I have to come back to the C drive and the disk folder to run this file, you know, every time I want to use spring, the tool suit do i have to come and do it here so no the simple suggestion is you see spring uh, tool suit is currently present in your taskbar so just right click on it and use the option pin to taskbar next time you want to use spring tool suit just click on the icon in the taskbar and the spring tool suit will start running you don't have to go to the folder again and again and create our uh, sorry start our application so here just for the sake of it uh, we'll see if our spring is you know getting any project so i'll just create a java project there's an option over here you can see create a java project again i'll write first spring project and here select the java version that you have installed on your pc so i have java 1.8 so i'll select 1.8 if you have different versions select the version that you have all right so now i'll click on next and here uh, I'll just leave it to default because I don't want to get much into it. So I'll just click on finish. Okay, so our project has been created. This is the one and there we have SRC inside here. I'll just create a new package. You know, you can learn about what packages are and what not. So I'll just write com.example. Uh, first over here. And I'll create, I'll fin click on finish. And inside this package, I'll create a new Java class. So you can see, I just I just have to click once, right click on it, click on new. And here I'm getting option to create Java class and I'll name the class hello. And I'll include public static void main into this and I'll click on finish. And this is our first class that we've created, right? Hello class. And inside this, I'll write the infamous or the most famous uh, thing that programmers do while testing out anything that is system dot out dot print ln I'll just write you can see that you get helpful suggestions when we try uh, when we try to code so this is the power of ID right it saves us a lot of time so now I've I'll just save this and now this is spring tool suit right so I'll just click here and I can run it as a Java application because right now I am just creating a Java application. If I want to create a Spring Boot application, that's a different thing. All right, I'll just try to see if it is working or not. And here you can see at the bottom of my screen, I'm getting hello world. All right, this is the one that I'm, this is the result that I'm getting in console. Okay, so yeah, it basically means that our Eclipse ID, sorry, Spring Tool Suit has been successfully installed and it is not showing any errors. This is the reason I, Always when I install an IDE, I run it and see if there is any error. So that's it for this video. Make sure you guys like my videos because 98% of you guys just watch the videos and you don't subscribe, you don't like. Guys, please like the video. It motivates me to keep making more amazing videos and helping you guys out. If you have any doubts, mention it in the comment section. I'll make sure that I'll connect with you and we can solve your problem. That's it. I'll see you in the next video.